everybody, this is Cody B, Two Minute Tips. Check this story out. My good friend Dave Smith, he uh, recently took over a bowling alley uh, for his father. His father's, you know, got some health challenges right now, and so he kind of went down to see if he could help out with the bowling alley. Knows nothing about the bowling industry whatsoever, and he just went down there and take, take a look at this story, what he did, a simple little thing that he did, and the results that he got and how quickly he got them. Take care, everybody. Hey guys, Dave Smith here from Draper City, Utah. I'm here to tell you a story about relationship marketing in a bowling center. It's gonna be fun. So basically what we did is we run, my wife and I, Lori and I, run a bowling center, a family-owned bowling center in Ephraim, Utah, a couple hour drive from our house. And when we first took it over, we went down there and decided to implement relationship marketing strategies there. First thing we did is we found a list of our league bowlers over the past two or three years and designed a fun little card to appreciate them. And you can see here on the front, it says, we appreciate you. And then on the inside left, it has some fun little award stuff and a free game to bowl and stuff like this. And then on the right, we told them about a bowling association meeting that they needed to come to and uh, the name of our new manager and things like this. And so that simple appreciation, of course we branded it on the back. Now that simple appreciation card in the summertime, we've had a hard time getting league bowlers out. But that simple little card increased our summer leagues by 63%, literally overnight. So using cards with the relationship marketing strategies in a bowling center totally works. So again, Dave Smith, talk to y'all soon.